Hi, my name is Frank Caputo. I'm the vascular surgery director of the aortic center here at the Cleveland Clinic, as well as the program director here for the training programs in vascular surgery. And I'm here with Dr. Vargo, who is it? Yeah, my name's uh, Patrick Vargo. I'm one of the heart surgeons and aorta surgeons here at Cleveland Clinic. I uh, work in the aortic center as well uh, from the cardiac surgery side of things. I'm in the, in the training program for the thoracic surgery residence as the associate program director. And together, Dr. Caputo and myself, we operate and take care of a lot of patients with uh, aneurysms of their, their thoracic aorta and abdominal aorta. So many of you may be wondering why a cardiac surgeon and a vascular surgeon are sitting next to each other taking care of your aorta. As you know, we're both experts in aortic surgery, but there tends to be boundaries. Dr. Vargo tends to be an expert in those patients above the diaphragm. I tend to be below the diaphragm, and sometimes these aneurysms cross the diaphragm, or sometimes there's a mixture of endovascular and open techniques that we are both experts in, and we find that working collaboratively and together, multidisciplinary, we have the best outcomes. So here at the Cleveland Clinic, as, you, as we mentioned, we both work in the aorta center. What that means is that there's a, a group of us who specialize in, in treating aortic disease, which could be aneurysms, dissections, and different pathologies that affect the aorta, which is the large uh, artery that comes out of your heart and travels the whole length of the body to give blood to all your organs. Um, in this center, there's cardiac surgeons like myself, vascular surgeons like Dr. Caputo, and also cardiologists that are experts in medically managing these, uh, these aortic diseases. And um, you'll often see all of us and some of us at different appointments as well. Um, as these aneurysms grow, um, they become more of a surgical disease and that's when we start talking about surgical planning. When they remain on the smaller side, you may be evaluated by us and then, then follow with cardiology and then receive optimal medical treatment at that time. Yeah. And remember, once you have a diseased aorta, whether your aneurysm is limited to one section or not, that, that your entire aorta is at risk for developing over time. That's why it's all about lifelong surveillance. And we have to monitor these aortas to see if there's any aneurysmal growth or any be development of high risk features that may warrant surgical intervention. That's not to say that it's not okay for cardiology to, or your cardiologist or your primary care to follow these aneurysms because up to a certain point, it is perfectly safe to medically manage these aneurysms. When it is time to treat a portion of the aorta, replace it or repair the aneurysm or dissection or whatever the pathology may be, um, there's different ways to go about it. Uh, in the, you know, a couple generations ago, it used to always be an open surgical incision, and oftentimes that is still necessary. Um, but this is a highly evolving, rapidly evolving uh, field where new devices come out um, that, that can treat these uh, aortas minimally invasive. Oftentimes we can use stents or a hybrid approach of stents and some smaller incisions to treat it. And in some cases, we still do need the old, the old open surgical um, approach to replace the aorta that's diseased. Here at Cleveland Clinic, we're one of the, the biggest centers in the country that treats this disease. And we have a lot of new devices that were a part of trials, as well as uh, many different devices available to us and, and the support to do the, the operations necessary to repair your aorta. And that's the benefit of having experts in these fields work together because we discuss all these options. Whether it's, like Dr. Vargo mentioned, endovascular only, whether it's open only, or whether we do some form of combination to minimize the stress on your body between hybrid um, um, endovascular and open, creating a hybrid solution to your aortic issues, we tend to work in teams in order to really bring all the various aspects from different fields together. And I think one other thing that's important for patients with aneurysm disease of their aorta is they often may be part of a syndrome, things like Marfan syndrome, Louise Dietz syndrome, or some of these other uh, connective tissue uh, dis disorders that are heritable. If you are a patient that does have something like this, we have big centers that manage the, the treatment of these patients, uh, both the aortic portion of those syndromes as well as extra aortic things. Sometimes these patients have issues with their uh, musculoskeletal systems, eye issues, and different, different parts of the body. So it's really a multidisciplinary center here, and we like to get you plugged in and treated uh, uh, completely as a patient. In addition, with the genetic components, we help to identify members of family that carry these conditions to not only help treat patients that may not realize that they also have the condition, but also for future generations, help counsel um, on what the genetic ramifications for these are for the generations to come. But again, I'm, I'm happy that you guys are listening to us and getting um, educated about your aorta and its health. Um, if you guys have any further questions or any need for um, seeing us in consult, we'd be more than happy to see you, Dr. Vargo and myself. Um, and we at the Cleveland Clinic believe that every life deserves world-class care. Thank, so thank you for you. joining us today.